and that's why. Oh yeah, there's no other team. Okay, that makes sense. So it's co-op versus AI, which is why I'm suddenly so good at this game. Day of Infamy co-op. Let's see um, if I can do any better this time. I got my girlfriend Hazel's here with me. Say hi. Hi. Hmm. So uh, I don't know how co-op works, but we're about to find out. Looks like we're gonna be on the attack squad. Wow, that was some ragdoll physics right there. I'm gonna try to follow my teammates. Think that's a good idea, Hazel? Yes. Oh, that's a teammate. That guy wasn't a teammate, though. Ah, there was that guy. Well, that's too. Oh, God. Can't see anything, it's too foggy. So, I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm supposed to defend the trenches over here, maybe? maybe? Why is everyone suddenly so bad at this game? I made another video and everyone was like, amazing at this game, and I died like 900 times. Um, this one doesn't seem to be based on deaths. It says objective points, looks like. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of enemies. Uh, I wonder if those are NPC enemies, and that's why... Oh yeah, there's no other team. Okay, that makes sense. So it's co-op versus AI, which is why I'm suddenly so good at this game. So this looks to be a co-op versus AI mode. There's some AIs right there. Sniper in the back doing nothing. Typical sniper. And we got this guy right here doing his thing. Looks like he's gonna go back to regroup so we can respawn. Very good. And then we're gonna head towards Objective C, which we are supposed to hold for 20 seconds. For supposed to hold for a number of seconds. I can't climb over that. Oh, fuck. Turns out barbed wire hurts. Oh, ow. Death. I got dead. So, people are supposed to be defending that objective. Objective C. That guy's legs are inside of. Why does the computer think that guy's legs are inside of rock? Help me here, Hazel. Help me out. Because, actually, um, computing... Computing? Yeah, sorts of things. To make sure that kind of shit doesn't happen uh, is actually pretty difficult and uh, computationally expensive. So, games usually just go with an approximation like um, a rectangle something like that instead of a person shape and it ends in some interesting artifacts usually that sounds amazing so what's happening right now which you can't see is that Han Yolo right here is not moving at all and uh, as a result of that he is uh, breaking the game he needs to go back to that little icon over there that says regroup so that uh, we can respawn our spawns are, are required for him um, so everyone else is left with me <laughs> and Han Yolo here and Han Yolo's about to die I just saw an enemy guy right there about to shoot Han Yolo
And there you go, we all died. Defeat. Uh, so that was a, a really quick look at co-op. Uh, we're gonna do go into another match right away. So, what we're trying to do is hold these two objectives, A and B, and we have a certain amount of time we're supposed to hold them for. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to vote kick Kanyo, though. No, there's not a way to vote kick him. Can we get in the trench, please? So, the physics in this game is questionable at best. Are questionable at best. But we're gonna head over to this trenches here, which is point A. Hazel, just say your shit, because you fucking... Your beep goes in my game and causes beeping. So, I died. Uh, and what's left is, is our, our friend Han Yolo here. So we're actually going to go ahead and look for another server that has more players. Uh, look for something that has low latency. Ping. Not a lot of people playing co-op. Uh, I don't want to play this server with, like, 130 ping. Um... Well, let's see what happens if we play another round here. I'm the only one left, so maybe some more people will join. Maybe not. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we'll find out pretty quickly. I like the idea of this co-op. I think it's pretty fun. The idea of it, anyways. Um, possibly to play with some friends against AI would be fun. Uh, let's see. I was right here when I died last time, so there was an artillery strike. Our teammates running down there. That's an enemy. So, basic controls first person shooter style controls. Shift is run, control is crouch, Z is drop. I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I died. And because I'm the only one in my squad, it looks like I lose when I die. Uh, let's go see if we can find a more populated game. So, major game mechanics that I found out since starting this called playthrough here. Uh, we're going to do Assault again, because I like playing Assault. Is that, number one, this is a co-op versus AI, so there are now four of us playing in this co-op mode. And it seems to be versus an endless wave of AI, so sort of a horde mode kind of thing. Uh, we are to defend two objectives for an amount of time. In this case, on the bottom, you should be able to see that timer going down. I think it says 10 minutes and 2 seconds right now. Yes, it does. It says 10 minutes and 2 seconds. Um, 958 now. And so if you, that, as that timer goes down, you would, wanna, you would want to eventually reach zero and win, in theory. You did not give up your points. Now, as each individual player dies... Oh, we have just lost. As each individual player dies, you have to go back to reinforce... So what I'm telling my team there is that they should go back. So at least there's voice chat. Uh, I don't like voice chat in these applications very much because it tends to be pretty, pretty poopy, truthfully. Um, so this is the trenches of A er, where we were earlier. I'm gonna go right over here, because I know that the AI is going to come up through here. Those are teammates, teammates, teammates. Uh, we will prepare to throw a grenade right down there. That's a teammate. They are attacking point B, but we're near point A, not point B. So I can't really do much about that. There's a guy right there. Looks like I'm the second to last guy, so I'm going to head back and try to regroup over here. So we can get a respawn. So the way I know that is I press tab and it shows who's alive and who's dead, so... Let's go right back over here. And I think the respawn is right over here. Yep, it's right over here. So that should regroup everyone. I 
everyone should be back alive now, yep. So that brought everybody back. Now we have to run all the way back to sea. Yeah, they all respawn there. Crouch down so we can go underneath. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting shot. Oh, that's a Panzerfaust. Oh, ow, that hurt. We're down to two people again. Uh, now we're down to one. I doubt he's gonna. Uh, maybe he listened. Maybe he listened. So he should be headed back to the respawn. You guys. Oh, yeah. Where'd you cheat? So that's a pretty good example of what works and what doesn't. So. So what happened there was he kind of got overrun. Um, you're supposed to have like eight players. Uh, which would ha probably help. You're also supposed to have some coordination between your team. We don't have that. I'm gonna go ahead and run down as immediately as I can here and try to get... Try to get a few grenades out. We already have two squad members dead, lol. Retreat into the smoke. I got pegged. Let's see who's alive. We have two guys. Alive. Let's see if. Ah, good. One of them went back and got us a respawn. So, so far, I've learned a lot about this game. Oh my god, there's a guy right there. Destroyable terrain or no? No, maybe not. I guess that wasn't destroyable train. I thought maybe if I naded it, it would blow up. It would uh, go away. Complex network of underground tunnels here. Well, I got I'm out from the underground. Um, hello. That's teammate. Oh, I got flamethrowered. Um, definitely one for one though, so I don't feel terrible about it. This guy's doing mad good over here. He's got the, the Stieg. There's a line of dead bodies over there, man. Looks like he's gonna work his way back. He's gonna work his way back to our regroup. Which is good, because we do need a respawn. Should have our respawn. We do indeed. I'd like to point out that I'm not exactly playing this the best. Uh, you can see I, I can lean left and right. You're really supposed to be doing this like as much as possible, so lean out of cover like this. You're supposed to be being tactical about this. I'm playing this game like it's Call of Duty, and uh, that's not how you're supposed to be playing the game. See if we can get a uh, grenade over there. Alright. There's one. 
one. There's another one right there. Oh, that's a grenade! I was hitting him, but I took a shot in the face there. Uh, we've got a few, couple of teammates left alive. Not a lot. But a couple. Hey, These you guys, guys me okay? doing a pretty good job. Oh, that was awesome! I'm not really sure if things get progressively harder. Um, it's hard to tell. Ouch. Or if you just have to hold for 10 minutes, period. There's a respawn. What the hell? Thanks for the team kill, buddy. Somebody's back here just doing some mad team killing. There's a there's a limit for my team killing you can do, which is three, and then you get kicked from the server. So hopefully that guy got kicked from the server. Well, I think my own grenade killed me there. Um, I thought I got it over the hill, but I guess I didn't. Now we have six minutes and eleven seconds left to try to defend these two points. The uh, Glarblog here with the excellent flank came up underneath them. We do still have quite a few team members up, so uh, it does look like Glarblog is headed back in an attempt to get that respawn, though, which is nice because I would like to come back in the game. I'm not too sure who's calling in the artillery, but whoever it is, that artillery attack is absolutely devastating. Um, hey, can anybody hear me? No joke, that artillery attack is completely devastating. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really great, but completely devastating. So this guy's heading back to get our respawn. So we should respawn. Kind of quiet, no. Right here. Uh, I guess we're not gonna respawn? I don't know, I thought we would respawn there. Because the he was in that is in the record area. Head over to C, which it looks like they're taking. The uh, the god aim of the AI there. He was right through that corner. I saw him. There's no way he could have popped me without the god aim of the AI. This guy is really good. I'm watching him. He's, he's actually pretty good. got hit. Let's see if we switch over to... Yeah, let's try to switch to Sniper. Um, see what happens. If we get another respawn, we've got two guys up right now. Stop. 
Looks like Drew Daddy is heading towards our regroup point, so we should be able to get. Oh! Well, uh, this guy is as far away from regroup as possible. Does so anybody hear me? We're gonna anybody? end up dying there. Yes. I can. Well, that was a pretty good match, guys. Um, I'm gonna stop recording here. This has been pretty fun. Um, the co-op mode of this game is pretty nice. Uh, I don't, I don't dislike it. You know, Day of Infamy. So if you're, if you guys are interested, it's on Steam for like nine bucks. And uh, hopefully, you know, I'll have some more content. Play some more co-op. Hopefully, I can get a couple of the other Kitsuka friends to come and play. And uh, I personally am enjoying it immensely, and I really think it's fun. And uh, make sure that you follow the channel for lots more action. And uh, check out the website www.kitsuga.com so that you guys know all the gaming news you need to know and uh, reviews and you know occasional opinion pieces at random. Check us out. Thanks so much.